Hello students! In this little video we continue talking about related rates. So let's uh, finalize the procedure that we started in the last lecture. What would be the step one of the procedure? So first of all we would need to label all of the quantities that uh, vary in this problem. In step two we would need to find the equation relating the quantities with unknown rate of change that we need to find to the quantities whose rate of change are known. And then we're going to differentiate both sides of this equation and solve for the derivative that we would like to find. Last thing, we're going to evaluate the derivative at the appropriate point. And we accomplished this procedure last time, but this would be like nicely written steps that we have to follow. Let's look at the next example that we would like to do. So we have a rocket that is rising vertically at 880 feet per second. When it's, it's 400 feet up, how fast is the camera to rocket distance changing at that instant? And we will suppose that the, the camera is 300, away, uh, from the, uh, 300 feet away from the launch site. So let's try to create a picture for this situation. So we have a, we have a rocket. Uh, we have a rocket that is flying up and uh, we have a camera over here. Camera is uh, trying to make pictures and we have a distance from the camera to the rocket and we know that the camera is located 300 feet away, 300 feet away. All right, so let's create some notation first. This angle over here, theta, and usually it's called the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation. All right, and where is the camera to rocket distance? Camera to rocket distance is over here. This is camera to rocket distance. What else do we know in this problem? In this problem, we know that the rocket will be located at a height h. At a height h. And uh, let's call this distance, which is camera to rocket distance, to be L. So let's try to write it up. L would be camera to rocket distance. And H would be the height of the rocket at time t at time t all right and maybe here we have to put it also at time t all right so what do we want to find we want to find we want to find how fast the distance from the uh, camera to rocket is changing. So basically we would like to find the rate of change of L. And when do we want to find the rate of change of L? We want to find the rate of change of L when H is equal to uh, how many feet? 400, 400 feet. 400 feet. And what is given in this problem? We given we given uh, how fast the rocket is going up. So when the rocket is going up, the h is changing with respect to time. So every time rocket moves up, the height is changing. So when we when we given how fast the height is changing, and that's exactly how fast the rocket is moving up. And the rocket is moving up with 880 feet per second. So that means dH dt is 880 feet per second. All right, so let's try to 
make a nicer picture. So we have a we have the following picture now. So in our picture we have um, in our picture we have this distance to be 300 feet, and it's fixed. This distance is L, and this distance is H. All right. So how is L related to H? How is L related to H? Since uh, it's a right triangle, we know that L squared is equal to H squared plus 300 squared. We know this. All right. So, um, so let's try to calculate these quantities. Let's see in which step in the process are we are. So if we go back and check the steps, we did the labeling, we found the equation. Now step three, we need to differentiate both sides. So let's try to differentiate both sides. Before we do that, let's understand that L is a function of time, function of time, and uh, H is also a function of time. But 300 is a fixed distance. Uh, fixed distance because the camera is not moving, it's fixed. So let's try to take derivative on both sides. We take derivative of uh, the left side and we take derivative of the right side with respect to time. So let's do it. Derivative of L. Again, L is not just a variable, it's a function, therefore we have to use a chain rule. The chain rule says take 2, put it down, multiply by L, and then multiply L to the 1. And then multiply by the derivative of L. So derivative of L with a denotation will be dL dt. Now we're moving to the right side. Derivative of h squared will follow the similar structure as for l squared. So 2 goes down, then h, then dh dt. And this term is a constant. And so derivative of a constant will be 0. So we can divide both sides by 2. And we can solve for dl dt by dividing both sides by l we have h over l times dh dt. Let's see what we know in this expression if we plug in h to be equal to 400. If we plug in h equal to 400, we're gonna get 400 times dh dt and we know dh dt was 880 feet per second. So we're going to put it in over here. 880 feet per second. And this H is in feet. Divided by L, but we don't know what L is. So let's quickly rethink the problem to figure out what L should be. We know when H is 400 and this distance is 300, we can solve for L by using Pythagorean identity. So L squared will be equal to 300 squared plus 400 squared. And then L will be the square root of 90000 plus 160000, right? So it's going to be a square root of 25 and then we take a square root so we're going to get 500. So L has to be equal to 500 when, when H is uh, 400. So we take 500 and we put it over here. 500 feet. So feet and feet we can divide by and then we will uh, calculate this quantity. So we need to take a calculator and calculate 4 times 
880 divided by 5. So we're going to get 704 feet per second. So this concludes this exercise and we'll do a few more examples in the next lecture. See you that time.